hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel i have a guest up in here my friend Zwanda, and we're doing something interesting we, we're gonna have a conversation on her career um as i promised i don't think i promised but anyway i did say that my hope is that we're gonna engage on different careers and stuff so that you guys can learn and so that other kids can learn about um what's out there so Zwanda is a friend of mine we went to bits together and she's more like a sister now and <laughs> mama she made it anyway <laughs> Yes, so we went to VITS together and she was studying mining engineering and I'm just going to ask a few questions. They are not, we don't prepare prior to it. Yes. So yes. I hope she doesn't throw me off and ask me difficult things and all of that and it becomes controversial because we like to debate about certain things. So the first thing is that um, Zona is going to tell us where she's from, where she comes from and how she got to study at FITS and why she chose to study mining engineering. Oh my God, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be formal. As, as Kintani has already said, <laughs> I, we didn't prepare. Like we have no formal questions um, on this. So yeah, I'm just gonna wing it and hopefully it will benefit someone out there. So one thing that I like about Kintani and the reason why I agree to do this is because we both passionate about education and as well as developing other people's career where we can. So hence I am doing this. I'm hoping that my story will encourage someone and motivate someone or inspire someone. So um, you said where I come from, right? Yeah. So I come from a village called uh, Ngokuru. It's in Vuani. Then that to simplify it. So I did my high school there in Tando Secondary School uh, and, um, and I went to Verts. So I think in short, <laughs> it is, <laughs> in short, that's my journey. So um, starting from Verts, um, I started mining engineering and uh, the reason why I chose mining was because it was famous. So I didn't really know a lot about other careers like aeronautical and a lot of what's out there. So I was mainly exposed to engineering and the one that I uh, could relate more to was mining, uh, simply because I knew people who were studying mining. I was fortunate enough that when I was doing third year, um, I started understanding what it was about and the area of mining that I am more interested in. So what's interesting with that is that we have mining, in, we have in, in, in mining engineering, we have um, different fields within mining. And the most famous one that in the university you are encouraged to, 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 to take is the production route. Route. What is, what is the right mm. word? Yes, route. I'll try to be an American for you guys. <laughs> so yes, so it's the production route and um, it's the route where you have to go to the mines and be mine overseers and earn big bucks. So uh, a lot of people, when they say mining, they're referring to that and I am not in that field. So do I have to go on or are you gonna so, ask more questions? Uh, which field are you in? Okay, so I am in a field which is called uh, equipment so it is called OEM original OEM original oh, oh, equipment manufacturer yes original equipment manufacturer so when I was doing my final year my supervisor um, asked me like since you're doing a project that is related to this and you seem to have interest in this wouldn't you want to work on this uh, besides going to, to production and I was, I'd already briefed him about that so what he did was expose me to different companies that um, that offers equipment to the mining industry. So this industry that I'm in, it's a mining supporting industry. So we have other other industry like blasting, which is also within mining, but it's not production. And we have the one that I'm in, which is equipment. So we provide equipment to the mining industry. Blasting, they provide explosive to the to the mining industry there's rock engineering which products support to the mining industry so it's it's very broad so that's when i applied to Bala world equipment can i mention it yes i found this company and then i applied 
and I happened to get the job. The process was not that easy, but I'm just simplifying it. Um, and I was fortunate enough to get a job before I graduated, so that took the stress off my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So I was able to, I have a good inspiration for me to study for my finals. Yeah, and then I went to work with them and it was very, honestly, I love it. I love what I do. And um, yeah, and, and, and it's interesting that uh, when you tell people that you love what you do, people tend to be offended. I hope you're not. Uh, because I wish for you to find mm -hmm. something that you love yeah. as well and, and something that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. So I had an opportunity to work in product support. So what product support does is for people who want to study mining or people who are in the mining industry who want to understand what I do exactly. So what product support is, is that you work with the mines and help them to understand their equipment and how they can optimize owning and operating cost. I'm not going to go into details about that, but I know if you're studying mining, you would understand what that is. And um, that's what I do. So we go visit different mines and do site performance um, analysis. So just to understand the passes from loader to trucks, friend, I know you don't understand anything, but no. anyway, it, it's something <laughs> like that. It, it's very fun to do because you don't only work with one mine, you work with a lot of different mines and each mine, each mine is, it's different. So in different mines, you, you, different mines face different challenges. And that means that, you know, every day it's a new challenge and, and that helps you to think differently, challenges your thinking. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Mm, okay. Yes. So Swanda works in a male dominated industry. Mining is male dominated. And the one thing obviously is, um, we always talk about this as women. How do you navigate a male dominated industry? How do you remain confident and um, know that you actually as qualified as males in that industry not that um because it's it's such a cliche now because everybody talks about it and we think we know how to deal with it but honestly i have found it to be a bit difficult to walk into spaces where there's more males than females and uh, it's it's not as affirming as when you see other women within the same space but it's also a privilege to be within those spaces where there's where it's male dominated and you see that you're breaking barriers and especially as a girl who comes from Venda or Bushba Creek mm -hmm. and you actually just like wow it's actually possible not just for certain people who 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 are who are um, what's the word you can't see who were <laughs> who were groomed yeah. to occupy such spaces you know i think for us it was different where yes, we come true, from you true. know we, we were not groomed to occupy certain spaces most days uh, we had to learn even yeah. at school i think we didn't answer questions as often as true. some kids because it was just a matter of no i don't think my english is as good as that other child it's something and, that i still do yeah. yeah so how how have you found your voice within those spaces to, to my surprise, uh, today, even when I, if I, I have to go to meetings in the mining industry or in any mine today, I'll find myself being the only female today sure. in 2022. Sure. So, I mean, uh, I would celebrate that I'm there, and, but at the same time, I'm like, why are we still here, even at this day and age? Like, it, I don't understand why. So, and also you being in that space also kind of, it's intimidating really, mm. because um, one thing that happens is uh, the mining industry is very proud of the, of experience. If you go there into a meeting and say that I have 10 years of experience or what, 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 people will automatically listen to you. And as a new person coming into the industry, all you have is your inno innovative thinking and as well as your theoretical knowledge. So your theory helps you to challenge the current ex experience. And that's what I approach. Um, that's how I approach my work. But when you get yourself into that room where everybody is talking about, oh, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, this is how we used to do it. And, you know, they, re they lack referencing to that. It's, it's intimidating. And men listen to men. Like, it's not even because of how loud your voice is or how soft your voice is. So it's very, very challenging. So to answer your question, how do I personally navigate myself into that space? I was very fortunate enough that 
um, I had a supervisor or I have a supervisor who understand this situation so I told him that my main goal for 2020, 20, 2019 is to be visible so I know it sounds stupid but I was like I want to be visible and he asked me what do I mean by That's that so I wanted him to give me the platform to speak mm. so you know because he's a male he has the power to introduce me in such a way that the rest of the team can yeah, value what I say. That's so so me and him had that's a chance so to speak before I go to those meetings that when it comes to this, I'll be the one who, who handles it. No matter how that's difficult good. it is. Because it doesn't mean that because they're male, they know all the answers. Yeah, okay. Even him, there's some answers that he doesn't know. So I want to face that. I want to be the one to be responsible for that. So that's how I, 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 I navigate myself. And you can be unfortunate that you don't have that person who is going to be, you know, like who's going to help you, introduce you and give you the platform to speak and give, give you the platform to be that, to, to be visible within the team. I think honestly, like I wouldn't say that I figured it out because I understand that I was just fortunate to have a person to do that for me. But honestly, let's just keep, you know, pushing, pushing where we can. Or where you feel like you're comfortable, make sure that you, you know, you make them remember. You make them remember that you were there. Yeah. You know, that's even if you don't speak the whole meeting, because my take name up is space. Tough. Exactly, yeah. take up space. <laughs> yeah. Take up space. Where you're comfortable, make sure that they remember. Mm. And and if you know that they're wrong, you know, challenge them. Don't don't fight with them because we can't be them, right? Yeah. We can't be men. Uh, we come with something of ourselves mm -hmm. and we, we need to make sure that they recognize that so that they can give us uh, space, mm -hmm. you know. So that's my take on that. Okay. It's so challenging. Yeah. 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 Um, so another question I'd like to ask is when you were in high school or even at birth, did you imagine this would be your life? Oh my God, you want to make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> No man. <laughs> no, no, never, never. My mom is gone. <laughs> okay, so yeah, no man, no. I never thought. I never thought. I I would like to believe that I am a living manifestation of God's grace. Amen. So never in my wildest dream did I think that um by twenty nineteen alone I would travel to the stage sure. three times. Sure, and just by right. myself for me to deliver something some work that sure. only i can do yeah. you know so sure. i don't honestly i did i never never mm -hmm. so to answer your question no not even in high school not even in the university in the university i had big dreams mm -hmm. uh but honestly god outdid himself because i think not only do i have the job that i love i have good support structure and also i i see growth in what i do okay. so so yeah yeah okay. no i didn't i didn't okay. in the university i used to think that i would travel i used to believe that i would travel and i used to think that i would save i would save and i will i will go somewhere and guess what the prayer manifested I, yes i did the way I didn't god get. wanted it to be exactly yeah exactly. and so now you are in this field you have like three plus years of experience mm -hmm. and um, I just want to find out what what your goals um, different goals not just in this field but what are what are your plans what are your hopes what are your goals um, where is marriage in this place <laughs> I'm joking guys no we're too young for that yes. so um, <laughs> Okay, so what are my dreams? Kentani has never asked me this question before, guys. Like, why are you bringing this to the camera? <laughs> no, so that other people can... Oh, anyway, guys, I... Today, I just had a... Let me check if I can quickly find it. Because it's okay. nice when you can find those things, you All know? right. So, um, today, I commented on someone's... Um, someone's Instagram. Yeah. And I was saying that I'm proud of you. Uh, and how easily you can share your dreams in, in, in public. I have dreams, which a lot of people think they are too big. I stay away from talking about it uh, because I don't want to scare people. 
I admire your courage and your firm belief in your dreams. Sure. So I this think is today, today by yeah. twelve thirty five. You know how this is so important. I remember how I'm always having conversations about dreams and how I wish we had had spaces, especially from where we come from, where we are allowed to dream outside of them. Because yeah. I remember if you were dreaming to be a presenter on your t on your TV as a child in Bushback Creek, it was like, are you crazy? Yeah. Who do you think you are? Yeah. So for me personally, I wanted to create a space where people are allowed to dream outside of that because we've seen things happen that are beyond our wildest dreams. But also for children to be affirmed, to yeah. dream more than what they know what they see so i think it's even a blessing that we even hear we even got to a place where our dreams have expanded <laughs> yes yeah, so so uh i'm not gonna share with you my dreams guys because i'm still in a journey of figuring out i know it's pretty sad um uh, i'm still in a journey of figuring out how to be comfortable with the way i want to be uh, I don't want to come to you guys and just, yeah. you know, tell you that I'm all perfect yeah. and, and I'm comfortable with everything. You know, I have dreams and I believe that I will get to way to my dreams. I'll get to achieve them. Uh, but yet I'm still stuck in what Kentani just shared with you that, um, you know, I still feel like, you know, people will attack me for dreaming too big or, or you know i don't know how to be comfortable with that to be honest with you guys right. so yeah maybe i'll come back <laughs> you yeah i think also my the power that is within me scares me so sure. i uh, yeah yeah uh -huh. I, first I, I, because I, she <laughs> moves what does that mean <laughs> what does that mean <laughs> So I know that I, I carry something something big, bigger than myself. Sure, guys. And 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 um yeah, so I, I don't play around with that. Not that we play sure, today, guys. but I don't play around that. But I, I value it so much that when I do speak I know it's gonna happen definitely. Okay. So I really hope that it was informative to somebody who's both in university and high school. I'm not sure if you have something specific that you'd like to share to a to anybody in high school. Yeah, oh, I, I think uh, my passion towards education is mainly around people who are not exposed to these kind of things, you know. So thinking about myself personally, I think Kinsani can relate to this since we're both from the villages. So if there's anyone from the villages, from the Bundus... <laughs> You know, <laughs> yes, so it's it's possible and I don't want to talk about the possibilities only I want to talk about how difficult it is sure. Not to make it but to believe that you can so it's 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 making it is another story So talking about myself when I got to the university I didn't understand English that that well mm -hmm. and we had Chinese lecture We had you know Indian lectures people who speak in different accents and I never understood a thing first thing physics it's difficult secondly i didn't understand a thing but when i got got back to my room i would be able to study and and, and pass mm. but i didn't believe enough that i will pass yeah. so that means that i used to borderline pass you know mm. where else people who believe that they can they have 50 percent from just believing that they can so when they actually do study they study sure. not fighting so good. they're not fighting That's against so books they, they you know they communicate yeah. with their books That's so, so it's, it's it's another thing if you get to the university just try by all means to nature your belief in in what you're capable mm. what you're capable of and and trust in god <laughs> oh, me, no. if we're gonna talk about god i'm gonna i'm gonna cry because wow I was, yeah. yeah, no, it's it's God's grace. If anything, we pray that when you step into a space like that, where you can easily disappear, where you don't matter, because there's millions of you, not millions, but then there's thousands of you with just student numbers, for you to take up space, to be relevant, and to remain humble as well. You and need to God. remind yourself, to, to, not, lose to yourself. not lose yourself within that space. You know, I think... A, a space that big you wondering if you even matter yeah do i matter do where i come from met does where i come from even matter it's not even nobody has even heard about where i come from and i think we're also from minority tribes so when we got to to those spaces it was a matter of there's obviously um people who are from other tribes who already have a, a 
more confident within yeah. within themselves because of that. But if you zonga, for example, I'm zonga, so it was a it was a matter of okay so what happens i don't know how to speak this language i don't know how to speak that language how do i, I interact say, you know yes, i don't have the type new. of style yeah you would wonder new. how how people come to class dressed raise up their hands Shoot. when they ask question go to party on saturday pass their exams yeah. honestly you would wonder because you have none of that yeah. <laughs> But but honestly, guys, like honestly, like uh, be be kind to yourself. Sure, be be kind thing. to yourself because I think I was too harsh on myself, and that didn't do me any good because it didn't make me study more. Okay. It makes me more fearful. So okay. when I study, I study to finish, or you know, okay. like I was fearful when I approached my studies, and I didn't do well because of that. Because when I started believing that I could, that's when I started seeing myself doing better. So in closing, because I don't like long videos, I want you guys to stay tuned this and to long. come back. Need to call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, do you have a word, one word that you'd like to share? Not just a word. For example, for my favorite word maybe mm -hmm. for this year was um, predestined. So what word um, would Zwanda like to leave you as you step into varsity? and as you step into your first job in the mining industry yes so i was just trying to think about the right term no no not the right term like yeah. to quote it right okay because you know i'm not good at okay. quoting so it's, it's, it's <laughs> submit your words to the lord okay. and it shall be established i think this is good news so 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 for me honestly guys like so many times I stepped into places where I was sure that I was there because of God, but I didn't know how to navigate myself around those spaces. You know, you know, you know, God took you there. You know, you're there because you prayed, right? You are at the right place, but, but the navigation, you know, it's not really clear. That's me. So hence, I stick to the word of submit your works to the Lord and it shall be established. I got to a point where I was like, I'm not going to try to figure out. I'm not going to go killing myself because the more I think about it, the more I realize how much I don't know. So, you know, I will take it to the Lord and I will, I will wait for his light for me to navigate myself. You know, submit your work to the Lord and it shall be established. And I, and I believe that. And honestly, that's, that's how I've been operating. Because sometimes those places, the spaces are too scary for us but it doesn't mean that we're not called yeah. there by god you get me so yeah that's yeah. that's it for me all right guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe subscribe subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. zwanda has a youtube channel oh, and she yeah. shares um her journey throughout it's zwanda rasuela yes so you will find her you can just search zwanda rasuela please subscribe comment like and any suggestions that you might have with regards to what more content would you like because i'm really excited after doing this video with zwanda i just showed how much more people have to say out there. I know. Yeah. I know. It's just like, guys. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye. I hope, I hope you're inspired. You know? And, yes, and please are. believe in yourself. Mm. Please. Okay. Do it for me and Kensani. Okay. And the video. Yes. You have